Welcome YouTubers, awesome tune, Dixie Fried by Carl Perkins, gotta love this song, great story, you know, there's a little bit of fighting going on, there's some substance abuse, everything that's rock and roll. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the intro, the verse and the chorus, the guitar solos will be reserved for my patrons or members of Adrian White Online, but I'll talk to you a little bit more about that later because there's some great stuff to get stuck into. So let's get started and uh, grab your guitar. If you are a member of either of those platforms, grab your transcription because that's really going to help. And let's learn some awesome rockabilly. Okay, so the intro to this song in the key of A, okay, goes like this. We start from the fifth fret of the second string and we hammer from the five to the seven. Just like that. Then we play the fifth fret on the first string. So, okay, you know, I'll just play through it slowly. could have been played better but nonetheless let's continue with the lesson so five to seven play the five play the seventh fret on the fourth string with your third finger then we pick the fifth fret on the third string here so and we hammer to the six okay so this is currently basically mucking around with some concepts in A that I talk about in a lot of my videos and I will be talking about in my Rockabilly Rebuild course extensively. You're going to understand this really well if you decide to uh, get on board with that course. But basically what we're using here, root note, flat third, natural third, fifth degree, sixth degree, and the first degree again there, okay? Seventh there, that's an A. Roll the, the, the five to the sixth. Now we play the A here on the first string. Then we play the seventh fret on the third string. Okay, then back to the A on the first string. And then pinky on the eighth fret. And we sort of just let that hang. Okay. Just let it hang. Okay, use your pinky. Don't use your third if you don't have to. And then the next bit goes like this. Okay, and we do that by sliding into the fifth fret, picking up on the first string, and we want to alternate now. Up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so I'm playing on the open first string with that alternate picking. And if I was to break that right down, okay, then, so now we go up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And on that last up I mentioned, we slid from the third to the fifth. I mean, if you slide from the four, that's also okay. It's just getting that little slide in there. Okay, so that was bar four. And into bar five, we've let that last note hang. So then on the end of the one in bar five, we hit both the first string and the second string. And we slide back to the third fret. So, so we've gone. Okay. And you don't really have to hit that second string again. Okay, you'll it'll sound great just sliding back to it. But then we do hit the second string on its own on the second fret there. And then the open first and second string like that. Okay. Oh. And on that last one, we do want to hit both, actually. So, that's your intro, okay? Really cool, really nice little intro. Uh, always fun to play. I'm just going to move my music stand over a little bit. So, when I play these songs in the Sun Rising show that I play in, that you might see on my hat there, I don't know if you can see my hat, probably didn't get low enough, um, I learnt all these close and understood that what I was always playing was well and truly within the rockabilly vocabulary. I'm not, you know, uh, trying to attempt a Hendrix-style solo in a rockabilly context. I really did my homework, but I didn't agonize over them being 100%. I got the right idea, okay? 
and did my homework, but didn't agonize, like I said. So my advice with these, learn them really close, but also just jam along with the song once you've kind of got the solos down and get them close and see if you can understand loosely what's going on in terms of the scale, see if, see if you can uh, relate it to pentatonics or scales you might already know and uh, give yourself some freedom when you want to play these solos uh, if you don't want to learn them note for note, okay? Just a little bit of advice there. So let's keep moving. Let's look at the verse. So the verse goes like this. Okay, so it's a little vague as to what's going on there. It's actually not the easiest recording to decipher. But what I've come up with here is we're doing this fifth string. We're holding an A chord, so second fret and second fret on the fourth string and the third string, an A power chord, basically. Pick the fifth string open, pick the fourth and third, pick the sixth string, pick the fourth and third, etc. Then we get this little. In fact, I wonder if he's using his thumb. So what I'm hearing in this is he's going, he's in that little turn, that little end of the sort of every phrase. Yeah, that's the one. So he's picking the three, four, one, two, three. Then we pick up on the fourth string on the E note we're holding. And then we really quickly want to get that second finger back a little and slide into the third fret on the sixth string. So that's how you get this. Um, yeah, it's quite challenging, but also if you just mute that fourth string, I think a lot of the time I don't actually clean, cleanly play that note. I kind of go... Always get a sort of a muted note, which, you know, a lot of the rockabilly players do that kind of thing. Um, but you can do it. You can get that. I just, again, I wouldn't agonize over it. It's really just about getting that little slide. Um, but he doesn't do that slide all the time. Okay, so let me just break that down for you one more time, really slow. Six, four, six string, slide. Oh, you just slide. You don't have to bend. I don't know why I bent then. Okay. Okay, now he doesn't, like I said, he doesn't always do the slides, so don't feel like you have to do it every time. But that's it. Okay, that's that's your whole verse until you get to the last one. Not sure. Reaches in his pocket, so you stop on the on the little A chord. Reaches in his pocket and he flashes a quote and hollers. Now it's just the chorus, okay? The chorus is the same thing. Ray born, children I'm with you. I wouldn't worry about that slide at this point. Uh, I wouldn't even worry about it too much. I just do it a couple times in the intro, but you could also just just grab the note, okay? So, children are with you. So I'm just playing the third three. Ray born, the cat's been so the only little change there is that quite late in a bar he changes to an E chord. So, Ray born, children are with you. One, two, three, four. One, two, and okay on the and there. Getting there, just whack those fingers down, it'll be totally fine. Okay, then this next run is a little bit more intricate, it's really cool. I actually really like this next bit. So, this goes now. I listened to this with good headphones, and this was the main thing I was hearing that he was doing. It varies ever so slightly, but learn it this way, and stuff will happen anyway when you're playing Rockabilly, and you'll probably do some variations. So we play the A, okay, uh, this is bar 52, so we go, um, that's not bar 52, actually, I've got the wrong page there, my apologies, that was bar, what bar is that, Adrian, that is bar 24 on the transcription, same thing though, so we go, oh, yep, back to that same riff. So you really want to make sure you got that riff good because you'll be doing that riff a lot. So what we're doing there from bar 24, 24, correct that time. So we play the fifth string open. 
We're still playing the A chord. Hit the second fret on the third string, like that. Then we play the fourth fret on the fifth string. Third string open. Okay, so we, this. so we just sort of relax our hand as we get ready to play this D7 chord. So we play A slash C sharp, or A7 slash C sharp, I should probably say. Okay, uh, and then we've got the D7, so we pick the fifth string, pick the uh, fourth, third, and second, or even really probably don't need the second. It's just a little whack on the fourth and third. Move it up to an E flat, or... Um, look, it's kind of functioning as a diminished here, but uh, let's just call that... Let's just call that a D sharp seven for the moment. Okay. And then um, we go to an E7. So we're just moving that shape up three times. In fact, it's I've put in the transcription a D sharp diminished seven. Okay, but I'm actually going to change that. And I want you guys to hear, I'm not perfect either. Okay, I don't have to put this in the tutorial. But uh, I'm actually going to change it. That's a D, that's just a D sharp seven. So we're just moving the chord chromatically. <laughs> Okay, then we're back to here. Okay, it's really clever. So that whole run, D7, D sharp 7, E7. We just stay on that a little longer, and then we're back to that riff. Okay, so that's everything for today's lesson. As I mentioned before, if you want the solos, jump on Adrian White online, jump on the Patreon. I will still put out full tutorials from time to time, uh, but... Uh, I definitely uh, think it's really worth your while being on the Patreon or especially on Adrian White Online. We have a full library of these transcriptions ready to go with the YouTube videos. Um, you can open them. If I showed you the pile of transcriptions, it would be like this. I've got, I've got about a quarter of them here and it's a huge stack, but it's about four times the amount. There's so much going on in terms of resources and that's for about the price of a nice sandwich a month. Now, if you want the courses and you want to go really deep, really study up on rockabilly and psychabilly, jump on the uh, upper tier there, the all access, and do the courses as well. I'm actually working, I'm really excited about this. I'm working on a course called Rockabilly Rebuild, and everything I talk about in my lessons when I talk about flat threes and flat sevens, it's going to cover that from the ground up. Okay, just a minimal amount of theory. It's like, think about it, you'll put in half an hour on, uh, on that sort of stuff, and then we're gonna really break down rockabilly with that knowledge, okay? Some simple knowledge. Okay, I wouldn't make you learn any theory that I didn't think was necessary, okay? But it's going to be great, so check that out. And thank you for watching this video. If you are a member already I will uh, of the Patreon or Adrian White Online, I will see you in the next lesson. Have a great day. Catch you later.